Okay, we're going to try to remove the gas tank on this Fordson, 1924 Fordson Model F. And the reason I want to do that, first of all, is so I can get to the spark plugs. What I want to do is get an impact wrench on the spark plugs from the top down um, rather than a breaker bar from the side because I think an impact wrench will be more uh, successful than just a breaker bar because this, this the tractor has been sitting for 40 or 50 years. Um, so let's see if we can get this tank removed and we'll go from there. This is a 5 8 wrench. So the tractor's been sitting here now for two days, um, and I, I used PB Blaster on just about every bolt and nut I could find, so it's been sitting here for a while in that state. It looks like I actually might have missed this one, but regardless, the nut came off. Um, so there's a clamp here. This clamp goes up here and goes below the gas tank up to the other side there's another nut so let me go get that one I don't think the PV blaster penetrated the spark plug threads it's just it's just too rusted up solid over there. I mean, I could be wrong, but those things are not budging. I've used heat on them twice. Um, like I say, it's been soaking for about two days in this PB Blaster stuff um, to no luck. So I think the uh, remedy is to attack them from the top with that uh, impact wrench. Okay, we've got that side is starting to come off. Let's see if we can get these nuts over here now. Okay. So now we're talking about these nuts right here. You see this clamp comes down here over the tank and through this bracket. Looks like just like the front. There's one nut on each side holding this clamp on. And I bet this whole tank is going to come right off as soon as we get these clamps undone. All right, let's get the other side. All right. <clears throat> There's the bracket from the front. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Even the threads are in pretty good shape. We'll definitely reuse this one, so we're going to set this one aside for now. Okay, I've already disconnected the fuel line from the sediment bulb. Um, I don't think there's anything else holding this tank on at this point, so let's see if we can slide this out somehow. Steering wheel's got me in the way. No.
heavy sucker. Set it right there for now. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. All right. I take the little thumb screws off the spark plugs. And they're not seized on there, so that's nice. Now we can really get to these plugs. Um, I think I'm going to remove the cores so I get my impact wrench right down onto the the uh, nut itself, and we'll see how that goes. I believe these nuts are seven eighths. Can't find my 7 8 wrench, of course. That's not happening. That one is. I think these top nuts are 7 8 and I believe the spark plugs themselves are uh, 15 16 These, of course, are the antique style plugs that can be rebuilt. Very cool. So the idea, the reason I'm removing these spark plugs is so I can get some penetrating liquid down into the cylinders because the motor is seized up. So I want to Get some PB blaster down in the cylinders, let that soak for a day or two. There's the core. And then we'll come out and try to unseize the motor, or at least begin that process at that point. Second core is coming loose. We just need some better influence on this, is all we need. Press wrench wasn't working. Core number two. This is a Ward's. Number one, something or other. Nut is stripped out on that one. Let's try this one. Okay, that's how you're going to be.
so I couldn't get those other two cores out. So I just broke them off at the base. That works for me. They're dead soldiers anyways. So while the compressor is charging up, I'm going to see if I can't move these with the this big wrench, uh, big breaker socket. Oh, <coughs> oh my goodness. Alright, let's tighten that one up. Back and forth a little. Oh my goodness. Victory here. Didn't have to bring out the impact wrench for this one after all. Excellent. So, like I said, I I played generous amount of PB blaster around the base of the plugs and the threads. Judging by the wetness, looks like it might have actually penetrated one or two of the threads down into the block but that's about it but anyway I did let it sit for two days and then I came out today and applied heat to it uh, several hours apart and then more PB blaster let's try number two Oh my goodness, it's moving. All right. So, even if I get those other two out this way, removing the gas tank was not a wasted effort. It had to come out anyway. Number three, fingers crossed, of course. Houston, we have movement. Now, if the laws of shade tree mechanics holds true, I will not be able to get that one out. That's just the way it goes. But every once in a while, you do get lucky. Easiest one out of all four. I'm claiming victory on the spark plug removal. It's pretty rusty down there, but 
I've actually seen worse. I've seen worse. All right. put some PB blaster down into the cylinders themselves. Let this sit for a day. I'm going to attempt to put equal amounts, but you know, we'll see how that goes. stuff isn't cheap. This can was, I think, I don't remember, 25, 28 bucks, something like that. All right. Uh, I can... But, you know, if this works, it's worth its weight in gold, right? So we're going to give cylinders or more or less fill the cylinders up and hope for some penetration down between the piston and the cylinder walls would be you know through the rings so this one I can see is already draining through. Same as this one. Number one, number one here, number four here, are not yet. But that's a good sign. That's a good start. All right. Just for fun. Just for posterity, we're gonna attempt to move the motor right now before we wait a day just to see. <clears throat> no luck, it was worth a shot. All right, now we're going to leave this sit for at least one day, if not two, and we'll come out and check it in whatever morning that ends up being. Uh, we'll apply some downforce on the front crank just with our, uh, our hands. And then, if no luck there, we'll start giving it sort of gentle ringing blows with a medium-sized hammer and just like with the uh, threads on a plug we'll we'll try to rock it back and forth and see if we can't get it to break loose so first step is to unseize the motor then we'll go from there then we'll take the head off inspect this, the cylinders themselves, see if they need to be touched up, um, take the manifolds off, take the exhaust off, carburetor, make sure there ain't no rats, nests in there, anything like that. And then of course we'll pull the pan, drain whatever sludge is still in there after 50 years. We'll inspect the uh, bottom end of the 
the crankshaft and the rods and the rod caps and everything else and uh, see how everything looks. With a little luck, this won't be a major overhaul. Maybe I can get away with just some new rings and maybe just hone the cylinders real lightly. But you just never know. All right, cool. Thanks for watching.